the goldsmith named the merchant and he was none other than the original owner of the house whose wall had fallen now justice had come full circle thought the king back to the merchant when he was rudely summoned back to the court he arrived crying it wasn't me but my father who ordered the jewelry he is dead i am innocent but the king consulted his minister and ruled decisively it's true that your father is a true murderer he is dead but somebody must be punished in his place you have inherited everything from that criminal father of yours his riches as well as his sins i knew at once even when i first set eyes on you that you were at the root of this horrible crime so you must die so how is the king justifying that the king must be punished what justification he gives to punish him yes yes well done what's your name raghav silent clap for him so very very uh, to the point answer and correct answer and it shows that you have presence of mind yes what i was saying that yes the king uh, justified the justified that that merchant should be punished by saying that he had inherited everything from his father maybe the riches maybe the house maybe and even the sins even sins he had inherited so if the if the money and all of his father is his then the sins will also be his so he justified that if you have got everything good of your father then bad also you will have to take right so he says okay then you will be punished so what stand up you stand up so why what justification is the king giving to punish the king uh, merchant what justification is given to the merchant huh come here come here what's your name just karan so after he doesn't have the book he has come to class to study despite that he is not able to listen you were not able to study at online classes in the class you don't want to listen what do you want to do come here come here so i knew at once even when i first set eyes on you that you were at the root of this horrible crime you must die and he ordered a new stake to be made ready for the execution as the servants sharpened the stake and got it ready for the final impaling of the criminal it occurred to the minister that the rich merchant was somehow too thin to be properly executed on the stake he appealed to the king's common sense the king too worried about it okay so finally the king ordered a new stake to be made for the execution so now the merchant was to be executed he had to be hanged in order to hang somebody you need a new, uh, uh, you know some gallows and noose rope and that you know so you need a a, ro uh, a rod then some ropes and gallows to fit somebody's head inside so finally a stake that is a noose and all was made and when the execution was to be done then that person the one who had made the stake realized that it had become too loose for that person got it so it read, uh, it occurred to the minister that the rich merchant was somehow too thin to be properly executed on the stake he appealed to the king's common sense the king too worried about it what shall we do he said when some uh, when suddenly it struck him that all they needed to do was to find a man fat enough to fit the stake height of height of foolishness 
na now when the king got to know that the news was that the news was loose too loose to let that merchant fit into it then he ordered that, that we have to just find out a man who should be fat enough to fit the news now the purpose is not to punish the wrong doer now the purpose is to hang the one who will fit the news got it now what will they do what will they do just a minute what will they do he says kya the story is now the king wants to wants a man who should fit the noose noose is a rope in which you will hang the person so he wants a man who should be fat enough to fit the noose what will he do now what will he do now itne ke hisab se bata do mujhe what will he do now if i say meri baat suno if i say i want a child who should read the page what will i do what will i do yes he says i will find the particular child such a good answer clap for him so your answer is very correct so similarly i am saying that the king wants to hanji bilkul theek hai hai na you are very intelligent provided you listen you are okay always listen the king wants to find a man who will fit the news or stake what will he do then jia yes silent clap for her very correct answer he will send his men to find a man who should be fat enough to fit the stake and who that fat man will be disciple because he had already become fat why did he become fat that boy because speak loud clear what made him become fat so that you also eat but you not become fat why did he become fat yes and one thing more she says because the food was very cheap everything was cheap and he over eight one thing more that made him fat ansha that is okay ki like he over eight he was fond of eating yes you are right one thing more yes he he didn't he yes he didn't do anything he was idle when you will just keep on eating and eating and eating and don't do anything what will happen you will become fat so the disciple had become fat and what made him fat the system made him fat mind it what was the system get everything free of cost when you are given everything free of cost why will you why will you work this happens in the economy where the people are given the things free of cost when you people will be given all marks free of cost why will you study this one year the cbse had no option but even then the students had been given the marks as per the on the basis of the work they had done previous for example 12 standards have been given the marks of their 10th weightage 11th weightage and whatever the marks they got throughout the year of 12th standard and proper evidences have been sent the schools who did not conduct the proper exams you know their results have been lying pending okay if your school result is declared very well in time and is you know one of the best results of the city it is because in your school everything is perfectly and 100% honestly done and it is 99% of the schools had to do this 
because cbsc had made such kind of you know uh, system the online system was such that if there was some discrepancy the board was not picking up marks okay there was a check so the things were very very you know full proof no one can say like without giving marks the children passed but yes a little bit of benefit children have got a little why that benefit is given because this was the first year of the children who underwent online education system one year each children i guess many of you kept on learning how to study in online and those children were appearing for board classes so whatever the little benefit they have been given that is because that was the first batch but now the 10th who are going to appear this year or the 12th who is going to appear this year for them there would not be any exemption they will have proper exams okay so point is supposing this year also cbse says that without exams will let you pass do you think anyone will study koi nahi padega no one will study children will except the ones who really want to do something in life last year there were some students in uh, 10th standard and they were telling me ki like ma'am uh, their 30% syllabus was deleted and they were cribbing like ma'am they were very unhappy because of the deletion of syllabus because those deleted topics will uh, because in the absence of those deleted topics they will be difficult in clearing ntsc or in clearing the later on competitive exams they won't be able to clear neat or je so if you are really if you are really ambitious then you never want even one single topic to be deleted but yes if you want to simply uh, you know sit later on at home and eat up the air of air condition and pranthas and all then you can enjoy but that cannot happen for many many years in the end you will have to work okay so free of cost nothing is good so this disciple let's see what happens to the disciple right what shall we do he said when suddenly it struck him that all they needed was to find a man fat enough to fit the steak be attentive the servants were immediately sent all over the town looking for a man who would fit the steak and their eyes fell on the disciple who had fattened himself for months on bananas and rice and wheat and ghee the point is not that he was eating these bananas rice and ghee and all the point is that he was idle got it you also eat all these things but you work out work out means you work hard you will never become fat okay those people become fat those who only eat and don't do anything else ha huh? okay so then what have i done wrong i am innocent i am sanyas i'm sanyasi he cried so the disciple when he was caught then he he of course he had to plead for guilt he said like he's innocent why has he been like imprisoned that may be true but it's a royal decree what's the meaning of decree d e c r w -E, e it's not degree decree is law what is the decree law official order not just simply an order of the teacher beta stand up you say ma'am why you know like nobody will imprison you for uh, this decree is official law okay so that may be true but it's a royal decree that we should find a man fat enough to fit the stake they said and carried him to the place of execution he remembered his wise guru's words now he was reminded of his teacher's words what the teacher had said this is a city of fools and you don't know what they will do next while he was waiting for death he prayed to his guru in his heart last benches the question is coming all of you stay alert while he was waiting for his death he prayed to his guru in his heart asking him to hear his cry wherever he was 
the guru saw everything in his vision yes yes last pencil you say something okay you come here last pencil what's your name hmm yes what's the name of that boy what's his name ha huh? harshit harshit bedi okay yeah this is a city of fools you don't know what will they do so then he, when he was waiting for death he prayed to his guru in his heart asking him to hear his cry wherever he was the guru saw everything in a vision what is vision that prophetic vision okay the vision which enables them to see everything so he had magic powers he could see far and he could see the future as he could see the present and the past he arrived at once to save his disciple who had got himself into such a scrape to love of food so he reached there there and then to save his disciple the one who had been in difficulty because of his love for food as soon as he arrived he scolded the disciple and told him something in a whisper then he went to the king and addressed him o oh, wisest of kings who is greater the guru or the disciple of course the guru no doubt about it why do you ask then put me to stake first put my disciple to death after me so the guru was very intelligent he might have had a plan he went to the disciple first and said something in his ear then he went to the uh, king and asked him like who is wisest is guru the wiser person or the disciple and the king said of course guru is wiser then he said then you first put me uh, execute me first then you kill him later on and king being foolish will do this he is foolish had he been intelligent then he would not have done this kind of thing okay when the disciple heard this he understood and began to clamor me first you brought me here first put me to death first not him so when the disciple heard this what this that his guru was going to be executed first when he heard this then he shouted like first i should be hanged because i came first the guru and the disciple now got into a fight about who should go first the king was puzzled by this behavior he asked the guru why do you want to die we chose him because we needed a fat man for the stake you shouldn't ask me such questions put me to death first replied the guru why there was some mystery here there is some mystery here as a wise man you must make me understand will you promise to put me to death if i tell you asked the guru the king gave him his solemn word what is solemn solemn here it would means like a real word serious promise the guru took him aside out of the servants ear shot and whispered to him do you know why we want to die right now the two of us we have been all over the world but we have never found a city like this or a king like you that stake is a stake of the god of justice it's new it has never had a criminal on it whoever dies on it first will be reborn as the king of his of this country and what and whosoever goes next will be the future minister of this country so we are sick of our ascetic life what is ascetic life life of a saint life of detachment so we are sick of our ascetic life it would be nice to enjoy ourselves as king and minister for a while now keep your word my lord and put us to death me first remember so what was the plan the guru told him that your this stake is a stake of god of justice and whosoever will die first will become king and the one who will die next will become his minister so we want to die so that we become 
king and ministers so can you imagine what will happen next the king is already foolish so what will he do you can imagine right okay last one page read on your own right and i will send a small video to explain the end okay in your group then you do the questions by next monday okay